Here we have the 12 volt fuel cell multi-pump fuel hat. It's got three 470s. We had to grind a little bit on the opening of the fuel cell to where it'll fit to go in. And then we also have to line up the notches on the gasket with the holes we drilled that go in the middle of the notches that line up with the top of the fuel hat that has grooves. We'll go ahead and put it in. Now we're gonna line up the holes and get it bolted down. You tighten the bolts until the gasket pushes out just a little bit. It's really easy, just a little bit of patience, and now we're ready to put it back in the car. It looks really pretty. Once you get your fuel hat in and ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and put the fittings in. I'm doing a straight 8 a.m. for the return, and then I'm gonna do a 90-10 for the feed. Let's see. Then we're gonna go ahead and connect our feed hose first. Got that tight, then we're gonna do our return. We did a little bit of off-camera work and we installed a snow fuel filter also to go along with the fuel hat. Go ahead and tighten it up. Now we have this PTFE fitting. It's a 10 a.m. I'm gonna take it apart and put it on the hose. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the hose and you want the flare side down. Then you're going to take the little collar and you're going to wedge it in between, between that and there. I'm going to get this started and then once I get it started, I'm going to go ahead and push it on a large flat surface. Oops. Looking at them like And to know when it's all the way in, you're going to meet the lip with the white part. Oh, and you're going to go ahead and shove this part of it inside. And same way, I like to push this on a hard flat surface to get it in there all the way. And that will also, it'll meet the silver to the black. And then you'll push this up and start tightening it. Once it's more than you can tighten with your hand, you're gonna go ahead and put it in the vise. Snow has these nice tools that you can put on there. So folded. We went ahead and did the wiring for the fuel hat. We wired all three fuel pumps into this multi-pump relay module. We have all of the wires wired in here. You can see that each pump has a positive and a negative, and then you also have the three trigger wires wired in there, one for each pump. It was so much easier than using a solid state relay or any of the other stuff that you have to splice wires into. Literally turn a screw and you can tighten down on the wire. Now that all that's finished, we're gonna go ahead and put some fuel in it and fire this up. Okay, so now that we got the universal fuel hat with the 3470s installed, we went ahead and started the car. It is so nice to be able to hear just the car and not the fuel pump over the car. They're so quiet, the car runs great, and I'm excited to see how it's doing. <laughs>